ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel welcome back to wonder kid watch where today we've got facundo farias uh, the 18 year old argentinian coming in from cologne he looks very nice uh 18 technique 8 16 anticipation along with a bunch of very good mentals already some lovely technical ability with the dribbling at 15 uh penalty taken at 15 of course and long shots at 15 so he could bang them in that's for sure um currently playing as a kind of attacking midfielder role but can play almost anywhere in the front three four uh, and even slightly deeper if needed i'm sure that'll develop over time as well um can see he's already made 11 appearances for cologne scoring three goals so he's already getting that first team football he needs so it'll be interesting to see how that continues but let's jump ahead and take a look before we do though Let's make sure we take a look at his attributes. 161 potential ability uh, with a current ability of 124. It's all in his hands to become a very, very good player. So let's take a look. And here we are then, 10 years on. Facundo Varias is now at Hoffenheim in Germany. Um, capped to under 23 level for Argentina, but didn't go any further with that. Looks pretty nice. Very well-rounded, some good dribbling and technique as we saw, but good flair off the ball, composure and anticipation developed on him as well at the age of 28. Looks like he's developed quite nicely on the left-hand side as well as down the middle in the attacking midfielder or striker roles. Now looking at his career path, we can see he went to Verona for 8.75 million in Serie A, did end up getting relegated with them, in fact, and playing in the Serie B before a move to clone um, for 8.75 million so they got their money back for him that's for sure didn't play too much in the latter stages uh, but that looks like because he did make a 10 million pound move to Hoffenheim where he continued to play a hell of a lot of football uh, and started to get a good few results 17 goals and five assists in the 29-30 season with a 7.3 rating which isn't bad at all now looking at his milestones we can see that he did win the Argentine League Cup in 2021 uh, and Trofeo de Campanera's runner-up, uh, as we saw, relegated from Verona, but did end up getting runners-up in the Conference League and the DFB Pokal with Clone, although, again, he didn't actually win them, which is a shame. Um, we can see plenty of best 11s, overall best 11s, seasonal best 11s, team of the weeks, um, Euro Conference League squad of the season, which is quite a good one. Uh, otherwise... It's kind of that general stuff, nothing too of too much of note, um, but does look a very nice player. Let's take a look at his attributes then before we go. That's 142 current ability, 161 potential still though. So there is room still to improve him, uh, which would be very nice to see because he does look quite a tidy little player and someone that could be really influential in a side. But um, there you go. Not a bad player at all. And with that, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a comment down below for any other players you want to see in upcoming episodes. But I'll catch you in the next one.